part 97 of the great Harley Benton debacle. It's been a while. Tell the truth, I totally forgot. But here we are with the vintage not well, copy of the baby tailor. What I've been doing? Well, not a lot, to be honest. Remember last time? We're going to fix this jobly in from the Harley Benton. That the right way round. So I have been drilling and filing and whatevering a hole on the side. It's not ideal. However, it's all the best place to put it. Round up here, there's a bracy type arrangement and down here as well. So it was the only place I could put it. I've drilled a hole on the base side to replace this big thick thing which raises the action up for, well, who knows, however, was this thin thing. I have yet to drill a hole here somewhere. I was going to do it on the end here, but however, however, there's a great big the end block comes from up to here, and it's about 97. Well, it's not. It's it's quite thick. It ends about there, and there's no way I can get a tool in to ream that out. So here. I think it's the best place. Also, if you're going to put your guitar down, and bump, bang goes your lead. Not so much here. So we'll get on that in a second. I've made a major little mark on here, hopefully you can see. So time to drill a pilot hole. Now, some of you are going to say, why don't you put it in a clamp? Well, I haven't got one. It is as simple as that. If and when I get a shed, I'll be cutting it out a little bit more than I have here. But here goes basically bugger all. I'm not a great fan of uh, using power tools on Come on, you better. On guitars and instruments in general, even though this is quite on the uh, cheap side, not in London, but cheap in general, I don't like it. One little slip with this, you're only going to go like that. A big slip with a power tool, and you've got a mark straight across here or something like that. So, this case no power tools. Let's get a bigger one. Well, that's what she said anyway, but... Should be relatively simple, hopefully. Well, famous last words. And the reason I haven't got a shed is the council won't let me. Oh, come on, you bastard. It takes longer. Yeah, if I had a shed, I'd be having a Nice little shed, well not that little. Hmm. And have a clump. Now obviously this is still small, too small for this. So at great expense, I bought myself a reamer. 
So hopefully we can do this nice and slowly, take time and get it right. They talk amongst themselves. about right and it is right now having this poking up by itself we'll try it first if not I do have one of these which would mean making this hole bigger which I would rather not do so we'll come back and now uh, Second or two, once I bunk this in. Yeah, look at that. The hole's too small. But we'll connect these two bits up here to the thing. And then, now some of you are thinking, why didn't I put it up here? What I could have done, however, the curve here has got a lot smaller radius than here. The only place where the contour actually goes and fits this. Not ideal, but then if you're playing it, you're not really whacking away like you would on a uh, dreadnought or a jumbo. So I don't think it's too bad. But then again, the Harley Benson was buggered, and this isn't the most expensive guitar in the world. Sounds nice, hopefully it will sound really good with one of these. There is of course a problem by putting the uh, PZO in here. How much do I have to raise, or indeed lower, the action. This fits in quite nicely, but I might have to put a shim in. Hopefully not. We'll get everything. We'll get everything done and take it from there. We have come across a problem. Well, we haven't. I have. The piezo does not at all give enough clearance. Well, too much clearance, maybe. To the saddle and this this lot is going to have to be routed out now there is one problem with that I haven't got a router and I'm buggered if I'm gonna spend a hundred quid on a guitar that's not worth it so another method will have to be used. I haven't got a pillar drill either so I can't go down individually. So that is now over to you.